What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today, and I am up a creek. Literally, I ran off the river up a creek to do some bass fishing, and I came up in here quite a few miles. I'm basically going to start fishing a high bank shoreline down to the mouth of a pocket, and hopefully, we can catch some big ones. Water temps, 46.5 degrees, so not terrible at all. Water clarity in this creek is really good. Out on the river, it's probably about two inches of visibility. It is crazy, crazy muddy. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start probably throwing the jig, might throw the crankbait around, maybe even the jerkbait, but we're gonna start, we're gonna go down this bank, see what we do, maybe we get to the mouth of the creek and catch a big one. Hopefully that's what we do. Let's go ahead, get up here, let's start casting. So something that I wanted to show y'all as we work back along in this creek is this shoreline, how sharply it drops off. And I just want to show y'all that on the live scope. But you can see right here, you know, right here in the channel where we're at, and it really comes up really hard at a hard, hard angle. So these fish like to get, you know, right in here kind of on that drop, and they like to slide up and down to the bank. And, you know, when they feed, they'll pull up and and uh you know slide up there and eat and then once they're done feeding they'll come back out kind of out here into the channel and get off the bank so hopefully being we're right here around midday hopefully these fish have slid up they're up there they want to eat they want to feed and hopefully that's what we got going on we just need that first bite to kind of like just kind of tell us Tell us what they want. I'm really hoping these fish are gonna be set up on this corner. It's like a little drop off shelf right here at the mouth of this little cove. Really hoping that's where they're gonna be. They've been here in the past. I don't know if they're gonna be here now or not, but. That's a good fish, whatever that is. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what that is. Big, big, big old speckle. I mean, this is my biggest, my biggest river one ever, like by far. Get in here, oh my goodness. Check that dude out. That's a daggone big one. He was just sitting out there all by himself. Check that out. We slabbing is what we're doing. We are slabbing with that little jig. Man. Fun. That is fun. I wanted, you know, I bought this little ultralight with the idea that I was maybe gonna fish for some uh, crappy. I call them speckle, but... You know, just with that little idea that maybe I was, but I wasn't really sure. Well, let me tell you. I am. I most certainly am. There's one. There's one. Threw up to that point. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
I threw up to that point and I picked up and that fish was all over it. Yes, we got us a bass. We got us a doggone bass on that finesse jig. Nothing big. I fished around this corner right here and I came back and I threw up on that point. And as soon as I threw up there, boom, that fish was on it. Nice. Hey, we did not skunk. We didn't skunk. Got him on that jig. Nice. Well, I tell you what. See if we can get another one. I mean, as soon as I picked up, that fish just pulled right down on it. Good deal. We had fished a decent little bit and uh, hadn't got bit, you know, so I was just kind of kind of fishing around coming through here. But I threw right up there, and when I came up, that fish was on it. That leads me to believe that it very well may be more fish up there, the way that fish bit it. Because, I mean, that was a pretty aggressive bite. Hopefully it is anyway. Let's see if one wants to bite it. Way out there. I think that's a fish, that is a fish. Got it. This feels like a better fish. Oh, this is a good fish. Nice. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. This is what we were hoping for. Get in here, yes. Up here, on these points, perfect. Here's a pretty one. I picked up and my line was slack and I was like, hmm, I think that might be a fish. Pretty one. Dark going. Thank you, buddy. You gonna go on down? There it goes. All right. He was right here on the corner, right here off this piece of wood. It's a piece of wood right there. Don't really want to kick the trolling motor too hard. Water's 45.4, 45.4. So absolutely not terrible. I mean, I would rather it be, <laughs> I'd rather it be 70, but I mean, 45.4 for the beginning of February, or it's actually February, what day is it? Mid-February almost. It's not that bad. Ooh, I thought that was another fish. That is another fish. Oh God, I missed him. It's a piece of wood or something down there. Dang it, I just missed that fish. He might bite again. I was bringing it through and I was like, man, that feels like a fish. Darn it. A lot of times what you can do, you can just kind of fish around this area. It'll be a big school of fish in these bins and you just kind of fish around and just make a rotation. And as you come by, you get bit, you know, here and there. And these fish obviously had pushed up on this point to, you know, to eat. And that's why I got bit. So, let's see, I have caught them. Kind of off in here too. This is like a little island and has a little, you know, little loop of water that goes around it, not super, super deep. But in the spring, they get up in there pretty good. Don't want to drift over this too, too close.
There's a fish. There's one. Oh, there's another one. Little guy. Thank you, bud. Now that's a little guy. Just hopping that jig off that point. Popped it up and he bit it. Good deal. Got that jig. Oh, I need to retie. Definitely need to retie. Hey, I'll take it. All right, so we got a fresh jig tied on because my other one I bent the hook out on a little bit. Got a new trailer and I'm gonna see if we can make it happen on another bass. Now I said from the start that if I caught five today, I was gonna be ecstatic. So that is the goal is to catch two more, at least two more fish. So let's see if we can make it happen. Let's see. Right here on this point. I know there's some fish up here for sure. I can see them on the on the live scope. Matter of fact, one was kind of swimming towards it a little bit. Something is on this water, and I don't know what it is. It is orange and it is nasty. It's a little nasty. drag this thing around and see if we can get another bite i mean there's fish all down there bunch of them i don't know if they're all bass they're sitting right on the bottom whatever they are i mean they are right on the bottom Oh God, I just got thumped so hard. Oh my God, I just missed that fish. That fish right there thumped it as hard as any fish can thump it. Oh my goodness. That won't a little one. Oh no. No, no, no. I mean that fish, God, that fish thumped it. That thing, took, I mean, smoked it. When I came up, he had it. I seriously doubt he'll bite again. The main thing this time of year is just get somewhere where you have confidence, somewhere where you think the fish are, and just put your head down and fish. It is so easy this time of year to get spun out, myself included. You can get spun out so quick by not getting bites. I mean, you can go, you could go two, three, four plus hours without a bite. And then all of a sudden you find the right area and boom, you catch them. So you just gotta keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. We just popped it off a little tree right there. I was hoping when I picked up one would be on it, but he wasn't. That's all right. I'm just going to throw this jig around. Got it. That was so cool. That is so cool. I think this is another, I mean, another big crappy. Saw him down there on live scope. Said, I'll drop a jig to him. See if he'll eat. And he did. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you, bud. 
I saw him down there and I was like, man, I'm gonna throw that thing to him because I believe he will eat it. And guess what? He did. And there's another one right there. There's another one right there. We're gonna see if we can get that one to bite. All right, we're gonna get this in. And we're gonna get a Swamp water blue raised bug out of here, right here. And we're gonna put that on and we're gonna throw that around. See if we can get bit off this little shelf right here. Should be able to. So let's see. There we go. Good old swamp water blue. See if we can get bit on that thing. All right, so once I get this cast in, which I cast it over a limb a little bit, but once I get this in, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work back to the back of this creek. We're gonna ease back there. We're gonna see if we can get on some fish back there on some ditch mouths and back there got another island and we're just gonna see if we can get on something back there. You know, caught three fish here kind of quick. I'm thinking when we come back, we might be able to catch some fish here as well. But just right now, just not really dialing things in. I mean, there's a decent little uh, crappy right there over a, over a hurdle i might throw that sucker but you know just right now we're not really dialing in the bass see if we can get this see if we can get this one crappy right here i think i cast it off to the no we're going right in front of it got him that is fun y'all that is fun. That's a slab, too. That is a slab. Get in here. I mean, that is a daggum slab. Big, big sucker right there for the river. There we go. But look, like I said, we're going to go to the back of the creek. We're going to see if we can figure out that bass bite. These suckers are fun, though. They are fun. But we're going to let him go, and we're going to get back to bass fishing, so... Let's get back in the creek. All right, so just moved a little bit. It came right down here to this, uh, this little ditch mouth right here. Kind of came up on it quicker than uh, what, I, what I thought it was, to be honest with y'all. But this right here can tend to have some fish at the mouth of it. I've caught right many fish here before. Like I said, I ran up on it a little bit quick. Didn't want to run up on it that quick, but have definitely caught fish here before in the past. Looks like it's a whole wad of bait right there in front of us. You know, we're sitting in 13 foot of water right now. So, I mean, we got good water depth for sure, but I'm not seeing a ton of fish right here. Not seeing a ton, that's for sure. I mean, those right there might be speckled. They probably are right there. We might throw them just to, just to see. But like bass-wise, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a lot. Let's see if we can coax one of these fishy fish into biting. To him. I mean, I 
that one. Is this a crappy? I don't know what I got here. Oh gosh, a bass. <laughs> well, y'all. I mean, on the crappy jig, we got a bass. Get in here. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. Y'all check that dude out. Oh, the little jig. We got a bass. Thank you, buddy. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. I saw this massive wad of fish sitting there. And I was like, man, there might be some, uh, you know, they, they might be speckle. They might be crappy. And, well, they're bass. Or one of them was bass anyway. Starting to see a lot more fish out here now. I can't really find my jig where I'm at. There I am. All right, let's get out of here. Let's move. Let's move back up to. Let's move back up to that other spot. I just I'm not really just feeling it back here and. I don't want to move back further, so let's uh let's get back up to that spot. All right, y'all. We don't have but about like 15 minutes, to be honest with y'all, to come back and fish this one spot. So hopefully it produces kind of quick. Hopefully, hopefully. Throw up there and see if we can pick up a couple more. That would be fantastic. But I've had some fun messing with the with the speckle. I'll probably show some more of those catches towards the end of this video. Just kind of end it bass fishing and then go to uh, messing with those speckle, crappy, whatever you want to call them. Uh, super fun. One day I'm had to come out and just target those and just fish for them. That was super, super fun messing with them. But let's see if we can get one more bass to bite. I know he's down there. One more bass. Come on, baby. Well, if nothing else, we might could fish. Well, if nothing else, we might could finish it off with a nice crappie because there's a bunch of them in front of us. See if we can drop down on one and and catch one. There's one right there. Man, that's a nice one too, and we're probably gonna end it. That's a bass. That's a giant crappie. I mean, it's a great big one, y'all. Wow. Get in here. Oh my goodness, that is a slab. That is a slab. So look, y'all, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna end it right here. Unfortunately, didn't get that fifth bass. Had fun catching some, some nice speckle out here. Caught four bass. It was a good time throwing these back. Next time we come back, we might keep some of these. So, good times. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Wasn't full of crazy fish catches like I normally like for them to be, but hey, I can't always make them bite. So let's go ahead, let's get everything strapped down. Let's get back to the ramp. We got a decent little ride. I'll see y'all next time on Gunfish TV.